In this figure, we have a circle with the radius of 4 units that is inscribed in a right triangle. If the base of this triangle is 40 units, then what is the height of this triangle? So here we have the radius of 4 units and this radius is parallel to the base of the triangle. If from the center of the circle we draw a perpendicular down to the base, then we will form a square where each side is 4 units. So here we have a portion of the height and it is 4 units. Then if we could find this portion, we would add them together and we would get the height. So let's call this portion x. From here, to move on, we need to use a theorem that is called two tangents theorem. This theorem tells us that if we have a circle and a point that is outside of the circle, and if from this point we draw two tangent segments to the circle, then these two segments are congruent or equal. So then, if this segment is x, then this one is also x. Now, let's take a look at the base of the triangle. If the total length is 40 units and this part is 4 units, then this part will be 36 units. Now, let's apply the two tangents theorem one more time. So here we have a point outside of the circle and two tangent segments to this circle. Then, if this segment is 36 units, then this one is also 36 units. So, this is what we have so far. The base of this right triangle is 40 units, the height is x plus 4, and the hypotenuse is x plus 36. Then, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to write the following equation. 40 squared plus x plus 4 squared equals x plus 36 squared. Now we need to solve this equation to find x. First we need to remove the parentheses and 40 squared is 1600. Then to remove these parentheses we can either use FOIL or the formula for the square of a binomial sum. Either way, x plus 4 to the second power is x squared plus 8x plus 16. On the right side, x plus 36 to the second power is x squared plus 72x plus 1296. Now we can cancel x squared on both sides and on the left side combine 1600 with 16. Then we will get 1616 plus 8x equals 72x plus 1296. From here, if we subtract 8x on both sides and 1296 on both sides, then we get the following. 1616 minus 1296 equals 72x minus 8x. Then on the left side we will have 320 and on the right side 64x. From here, if we divide both sides by 64, then we will get that x equals 5. Now, once we found that x equals 5, we will add 5 and 4 to get the height of the triangle. Then the height of the triangle is 5 plus 4, which makes 9 units. I hope you liked this solution. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.